Hello, welcome to the Istana Negara, the National Palace of Malaysia. This is where the King of Malaysia lives and works. The palace is located along Jalan Tuanku Abdul Halim, or formerly known as Jalan Duta. Duta means embassy, is embassy route, where a lot of diplomats actually stay in this area too, in the northern western part of Kuala Lumpur. The palace is opened in 2011 to replace the old Istana Negara, which is now a royal museum. The palace covers an area of 97.65 hectares, which is equivalent to about over 100 football fields. It, it spent over 800 million to build this palace. The Istana Nagara is a very big and beautiful place that has many rooms and domes. A, a dome is a round shaped roof that looks like a half of the ball. The palace has 22 domes and the biggest one is in the middle, 40 meter high. It's like 10 story high building. That's where the main throne, Balai Long Suri. There is a red carpet leading to the Singa Sana where the king sits. Ah, when they have important ceremony meeting, they can the hall can fit up to two thousand packs of people. There's a lot of people, right? The dome and the interior design is using yellow color. Yellow color representing royal color. The influence of using ro yellow color as a royal color is since the Malacca Sultanate. That time, Malacca got prosperous by getting protection from the China Ming Dynasty. Sultan Mansu Shah got a royal robe in yellow color with a dragon symbol from Ming Emperor that passed over by Emperor Laksamana Cheng Ho. As so, follow the tradition use of yellow as the royal color until today. The palace is divided into three main sections. The former component, the royal component, the administrative component. The former component is where the official ceremony function is take place, such as the installation of the king, the royal banquet, the state council meeting. The royal component is where the royal family live and entertain guests. The administration component is where the palace staff and security personnel work and reside. The banquet hall can accommodate up to 1000 packs where the king and his guests have dinner party. The royal prayer hall can accommodate up to 500 packs where the kings and his family perform daily 5 times prayer a day. Malaysia is a country with many religions living together in harmony. Islam is the official religion in Malaysia. The king is a Muslim, which means he follows the teaching of Islam. He is the leader of the Malay community and the guardian protector of the Islam. He is the head of Islam. He is also the head of Royal Army, Air Force, Navy. The king also helped dissolve the parliament every five years or declaring a state of emergency during COVID-19, granting pardon, granting pardon like release political prisoner of Prime Minister Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim from the jail, and conferring honor and awards to those who have great contribution to the to the nation with titles of Dato Tan Seri Tun, just like Sir Title. As a king, there's, there's rules to follow too. The king actually cannot hold any other position than a king. The king cannot leave the country for more than 15 days. Do you know what the king of Malaysia is called? He is called Kebawa Duli Yang Maha Muria Seri Paduka Baginda Yang Di Pertuan Agong Ke-16 Sultan Abdullah of Pahang. <laughs> Former one, are really very long. Be called for short, Yang Di Pertuan Agong is the supreme head of state. The Chinese people like the Agong words a lot. As Agong Agong in Mandarin language huh, is the synonym meaning to grandpa. Uh, so it sounds sounds so close like grandpa, grand, grandpa is like our dear grandpa. We are a big family. Agong is elected by nine ruler of the state of Malaysia every five years with a unique rotational, rotational system. 
the first to become yang di Pertuan Agong King ini, the newly independent Malaysia. United Kingdom. The current Sultan of Pahang State is the 16th Sultan with almost five year time tenure and set to end on 31st January 2024. And next, the 17th King will be the Sultan of Johor State, take his turn as his successor. Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar from the Southern State of Johor. The palace has three main gate, and each gate has the similar guard as the Royal Museum just now. They wear special ceremonial uniform, hat, gun, sword, a pair of red uniform horse guard, and a pair of white uniform standing guards. They are part of the first battalion of Royal Malay Regiment, the oldest and most prestigious infantry regiment in the Malaysian Army. You can take photo with them, but again, please remember keep a safety distance as the horse bite or kick. The palace is not open to public. We can only visit from outside, take picture from outside of the palace. You can also watch the changing of the guard ceremony. They march and salute in front of the palace. The guard change shift every few hour, and the changing of the guard ceremony is a very popular attraction for visitors. If you are interested in seeing the inside of the palace, you can visit the old Istana Negara just now, which is a, now a royal museum. Malaysia government system is the federal constitution monarchy system. We have the king and the parliament. The king is a supreme head of state. Anyway, they do not hold much power. They act as a symbol of the nation, the protector of the Islam, the official religion of Malaysia. The king also help appoint the prime minister, appoint the chief judge, appoint the assembly speaker. There are three main branch: the legislative, executive, and judiciary. The parliament is the legislative branch. The parliament have two house, Dewan Raya and Dewan Negara. Dewan Negara is the upper house senator senate state council. And the Dewan Raya is the house of representative. The Dewan Raya has 222 members who are elected by the people every five years. Dewan Raya is where the people elected the YBs representative make laws, make policy, approve budget, they debate in the Dewan Rakyat. And the upper house Dewan Negara has 70 members of them who are appointed by the king and the government. The government is led by the prime minister who is the head of the executive branch. The prime minister is the leader of the political party coalition that win the most seat in the Dewan Raya. The Prime Minister appoint the cabinet who, who is, which is a group of ministers who are in charge of different departments and ministry. The cabinet help the Prime Minister to run the country and implement laws and policy. And the judiciary is the branch that interpret, apply the law and settle dispute of people problems. The court, the highest court is the federal court, court of appeal, high court, lower court, like Shara court for Muslim that deal with Islamic law matter. Malaysia also a federal state which means it has a central government and state government. The palace also has a very nice light after dark. 
It is a very famous attraction that hop on top of bus stop here too. The Istana Nagara is a symbol of the country history, culture and unity. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you and have a nice day.